Harare's residents are condemning city authorities. This as uncollected heaps of garbage pile up in Budiriro. Glenview, Glenora and other townships. Harare City is controlled by the main opposition CCC, but its function functionaries are blaming central government for a lack of support. ENCA correspondent Pindai Dube reports. Harare residents say they are sitting on a health time bomb. They say diseases like cholera and typhoid can break out any time due to the heaps of uncollected garbage in the streets. They we can survive, but by the way, we can survive. Collect our marara. We go to school, go marara. We eat, go pansy. We buy new clothes. We collect our marara. We buy. 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 Some residents say they fear another outbreak of the deadly cholera disease, just like in the past years. Considering those cholera outbreaks that often happen in this area, it means it's a disaster having this type of garbage, this type of a dump site in between our locations. I think something has to be done to clear all this mess. Harare Mayor Jacob Mafume blames the non-collection of garbage on all the equipment and lack of support from central government run by the ruling ZANU-PF. We have been hampered by a lack of investment in the uh, infrastructure and the, the retooling of the waste management department. We need about 50 compactors and about 20 tipper trucks to be able to deal with uh, the rubbish in a sustainable manner. There are two things. We need supposed to get devolution funds, which we had planned to buy equipment. Uh, we, we couldn't do that. We've been buying equipment from our own resources or veramenting from other budget lines. Then secondly, we need to get forex from the Reserve Bank. We've got 15 compactors stuck in South Africa. Last year, Harare was hit by an outbreak of diarrhea. And in 2008, a cholera outbreak hit Harare and left over 4,000 people dead. Pindai Dube, Harare.